Hey everyone, it's Jo. It's not a q and a it's just a video. <laughs> I wanted to bring awareness to one of the issues that came up in terms of one of the sources and I wanted to bring it to your attention because I think it's pretty important and bringing awareness to this will bring awareness to whether or not you choose to do business with the source. The source in question is Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond has been one of the sources that I've dealt with from the beginning of my dropshipping service business when I started. I had actually fantastic customer service with them, great experiences, great products, so why not give them a chance? It's been over almost a year and a half and my orders have started to be flagged and I've spoken with uh, several supervisors to find out what is going on and the supervisors have actually released the flags from my account and they've released the orders. I've had several orders after that and they've also been flagged and so I've sort of been passed around from one department to another they weren't able to actually give me any details as to what is happening with my with my orders at Bed Bath and & Beyond and they have eventually passed me on to a person named Adam and so I spoke to Adam who was an absolute rude person and he indicated that they do not like to work with resellers and the ones that they do a reseller has to place an order and only one address per order and they're not allowed to use coupons now I've actually asked them to indicate where on the website it states such information and he was not able to direct me to that and he indicated that if I don't comply with this they will have to terminate my services. Now Bed Bath & Beyond is not one of my biggest sources anymore. As a matter of fact I've actually lowered the items that I have from their store just simply because with the, the overall service I've had throughout the months and uh, I just decided to eventually phase it off. But I do have some items that I sort of still sell from Bed Bath & Beyond and he indicated that unless I comply with this then I will have to terminate you know, the business with them. What I have to say to Adam is, Adam, these coupons that you're stating they're fraud, I have actually received them from your agents. I have proof and I have chats that I have saved in my folders to prove that these agents have actually provided these coupons with you. As a matter of fact, the last order that was flagged by your company, I've spoken with a supervisor by the name of Sheila. Sheila has approved a coupon for me to use for future purposes, uh, purchases for the inconvenience that has caused that you are flagging my orders. So these coupons are not actually scam, Adam. These coupons are from the supervisors at Bed Bath & Beyond. Having said that, I have no problem complying with your, with, with your requests. I understand Bed Bath & Beyond has their own requests in terms of doing business. But I want you to understand that I want to bring attention to all the dropshipping experts out there and dropshipping professionals that it's important they understand what happens if they do business with you. So, everyone out there that chooses to do Bed Bath & Beyond business, understand that Bed Bath & Beyond may reserve their right to not do business with you as they feel that if you do rece receive a lot of coupons from them, they may be considered a scam. So even though these coupons are being sent from Bed Bath & Beyond, they don't like that. So it's kind of contradicting in a way. But keep in mind that they reserve their right to limit the business that you do with Bed Bath & Beyond. So understand that if you want to do business with them, this may happen to you. And of course, there's no recourse because this is coming from the billing department. So I would say beware of dealing with them, you know, in the long run just because of the service that I've received so far and of course these limitations which are observed. I receive these coupons from your agents and your supervisors so until you figure out how to run your business right Bed Bath & Beyond you don't have my business.